Hi, I'm Brendan Casey, General Manager Investments with REST. Welcome to our quarterly investment update. The March quarter is a classic example of why it pays not to panic when volatility rattles global markets. Following a tumultuous close to 2018, markets across the globe came storming back in the March quarter. Global equities saw their best star two years since 1991. The bond market rallied. Oil put in its best quarter since 2009. And commodities staged their best quarterly performance in almost three years. The US share market led the way with the S&P 500 index recording its strongest quarterly performance in a decade, up 13%. International shares climbed an impressive 11.5% during the period. Australian shares also saw their best three-month performance in almost a decade, with the S&P ASX 300 accumulation index advancing nearly 11% over the quarter. This sharp rebound in overseas and Australian shares was a key driver for strong returns for REST members. REST's core strategy ended the first quarter of the year on a strong note with gains of more than 5.3% for the past three months and just over 5% for the 12 months to the end of March. Over the long term, the core strategy has delivered solid performance, returning just over 9% per annum over the past 10 years. This is well above its investment objective of CPI plus 3% per year over the longer term, which for members means their retirement savings have been growing significantly faster than the cost of living increases. For our REST pension members, the default balance option also made a strong return to positive territory this quarter, returning nearly 5% for the quarter and 4.3% over the past 12 months. The big question is just how sustainable this March quarter rally will be. Although markets have picked up, we still see reason to be cautious. While Australia's economic growth has remained solid, it's become less upbeat with the possibility of a cut to official interest rates. Property decline here in Australia continues, and while employment remains solid, there's been little by way of wages growth. Global growth isn't out of the woods either. The economy of China, our biggest trading partner, continues to slow, and this could impact our own growth prospects. Ongoing trade tensions between China and the US also pose questions for global growth. And meanwhile in Europe, Brexit continues to make the headlines with extensions and delays. Outcomes unlikely to be helpful for business and consumer confidence prospects. So there are several factors that we believe still have the potential to negatively impact markets over the short to medium term. That's why we see good reason to keep our relatively defensive core strategy positions in place. REST currently holds around 39% of the core strategy in the Australian and overseas shares asset class. Around 15% of the core strategy remains in cash to enable us to take advantage of opportunities at a good price if and when markets correct. And the core strategy also continues to see steady returns from our bonds, unlisted property, and infrastructure holdings, which provide additional diversification benefits, particularly during periods of market volatility. It's this approach that we believe will continue to allow REST to deliver competitive long-term returns for our members. Thanks for joining me for this quarter's investment update. I look forward to updating you again on your REST investment next time.